Hey everyone, hope you're all well. So for today's tutorial, I wanted to do a video using this new palette from MAC, which is the Burgundy Times 9 palette, and it is so stunning. It was definitely the one that caught my eye the most out of all of them when I saw them in the MAC store. But the main reason why I wanted to do this tutorial is because one of my subscribers, Jessie, she commented on my last video and said, could I please do a look using this palette because she had purchased it as well. So I thought it was such a good idea and thank you so much Jessie for commenting. Um, it motivates me so much more when you guys give me, you know, suggestions or ask for, you know, certain looks to do because I get really excited when I see that you guys want to see something. I'll take you through the full face today just because I, um, I really love showing you guys products that I have been enjoying lately and it's just sort of yeah a mixture of a few different products and I really couldn't decide whether I wanted to wear lashes with this look like I have I have some lashes here ready to go but I just thought hmm I think there's quite a lot going on on the eyes and sometimes when there is a lot going on the eyes um like a really sort of smoky eye sometimes lashes can kind of take away from you know what you've actually got on your eyes um so yeah i've i've done plenty of looks with lashes so i thought um and my, myself personally if i was going to wear this out um i'd be quite happy to go out without lashes because i think it's pretty smoky and sultry as it is yeah so that is the palette there i think these retail for 80 dollars if you're looking for a palette that's easy to travel with it has a mixture of matte and shimmery shades and light and dark and just all different tones that sort of all really work extremely well together you know they're kind of like picked the shades especially for you for this palette i think especially if you have brown or green eyes purple just really um, brings out the green in your eyes like for me I've got hazel eyes and I know that um, purple definitely complements my eyes really well so light glittery one here is called honey lust and the one in the middle is poppy seed which I think is an awesome transition shade um, and that's a satin finish and then on the end here we've got quarry which is kind of just like a cool tone purple and that one is a matte finish um, this one here is antiqued and I've actually owned this before in a single like eyeshadow and I love it it's just like right up my street a nice warm brown um, slightly shimmery I think it's a relaxed pearl finish and then we've got a back in the middle which is a matte shade and it's just a beautiful sort of aubergine brown type um, yes yeah, again it's a matte shade um, and then on the end we've got this nice smoky shade which is called Noir and I think that is a Velux finish, I'm guessing V means Velux, I'm not quite sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but this one's quite unique, it's just, um, it's got sort of like gold and burgundy flecks of glitter running through it. And then down here we've got Hoax, Hoax, Hoax. Oh gosh, I don't know. Hoax. And that is a satin finish. And that's just sort of like, um, yeah, again, just sort of like a cool tone, sort of medium. Pearl. And in the middle, we've got Star Violet. And this one is a Velux Pearl finish. This one is so beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite shades out of the palette. When I saw that this was in this palette, I got like pretty excited. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I've wanted that eyeshadow for ages. Um, and then lastly, we have Sketch, which is another really popular MAC shade. Um, it's a Velux finish. Okay, so I'm going to get started on this tutorial before it just gets way too long. I started out with my brows already filled in with the Anastasia Browers in Soft Brown. And priming the skin today using the MAC Skin Base Visage just to sort of smooth out the pores. And then adding a little bit of the strobe liquid on a damp beauty blender just to the high points of my face just to give a little bit of a glow. So 
for foundation today I'm using my new all-time favorite which is the L'Oreal 24-hour matte infallible foundation and this is in the shade 22 radiant beige and I'm just applying that with my Bobbi Brown full coverage base brush and I love this foundation so much it just is super flawless and evens out my skin tone so well and controls oil really well throughout the day for concealer I'm using the trusty NARS creamy radiant concealer in the shade vanilla for winter months I like to use vanilla and during summer I switch to custard just because it's a little bit warmer um, but yeah this concealer is just amazing and it just does the job so well and is super long wearing super important to set our under eye concealer and make sure that it doesn't crease throughout the day so for this I'm using the Laura Mercier secret brightening translucent powder and in the sh this is in the shade one and I'm just applying that with the Bobbi Brown sheer powder face brush and then to set the rest of my face in place I'm using the MAC mineralized skin finish in light To bronze up the skin I love using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Tan and this is just an amazing shade, it's super natural and just gives an awesome sun kissed glow but without any shimmer and it's really easy to blend. To chisel out my cheekbones and my hairline a little bit more I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm pretty sure this is the shade Fawn and I'm using my NARS ITA brush just to carve out the cheeks and take that also around the forehead and my jaw and then I'm just going to take a little bit on a small eyeshadow blender brush and just sort of contour my nose slightly To give a gorgeous glow to the skin, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Wardrobe Palette today and I'm taking the two lighter shades out of the three and I'm just taking that on a fan brush and just hitting the usual spots, the cheekbones, above my brows, down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. The reason I love the Hourglass Ambient Powders so much is they are so finely milled and they're just so natural and they don't accentuate pores and like there's no visible shimmer or glitter in the powders they just really do give the most beautiful glow this is the MAC mineralized blush in the shade warm soul and it is a much loved product in my collection it is like the perfect shade of bronzy kind of peach it's a blush that I always like to wear when I don't feel like wearing anything pink just because it looks so natural and glowy. Another new product I've been loving is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Dark Brown and this just really lifts the brow and accentuates my arch a little bit more. Priming the eyes today using my favourite primer which is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just using a Real Techniques base shadow brush for this. Moving on to the more exciting part of the tutorial, I'm giving you another glimpse at the gorgeous Burgundy x 9 palette and here's a closer look at the shades for you. I'm going to start out by using this transition shade called Poppy Seed and it's just a really pale sort of dusty lavender shade, just enough to give the crease a little bit of depth but it blends out beautifully. So I'm going to switch brushes to a more tapered defined blending brush and I'm taking the shade Hoax and I'm just again focusing that right into the crease. Um, this whole look is really just about layering the products on top of each other so that you get a really sort of seamless transition from dark to light. Now I'm taking the same shade but this time on a flat shader brush and I'm just connecting the lower lash line with that crease shade by just flicking it up towards that outer corner of my brow. 
Now we're going to the shade Embark and I'm just going to fluff this on the very outer corner of my eyelid and yeah I'm trying to sort of bring this shade more onto the eyelid as well as into the outer, outer V of the crease. Moving on to the shade Antiqued, I'm taking this on a flat shader brush and I'm just really packing this all over the lid for maximum colour payoff. Um, you could even use this shade with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to really build the depth up and also running that a little bit on my lower lash line just to warm things up. Really love this shade, it's super buttery and I think because it's a satin finish it's really easy to blend. Now I'm taking the shade Star Violet, this time on a clean flat shader brush and I'm going to focus this on the inner corner of my eye, again really building up the intensity of the colour. So now I'm taking the shade Honey Lust and I want to focus this on the centre of the eyelid just to bring light to the eyes. I did actually apply some Fix Plus to my brush just to dampen it down. This shade is a little bit more glittery and I didn't want to get too much fallout with it so that's why I did that. And now I'm just lining my eyes with Max eyeliner called Teddy which is just a really nice warm brown reddish sort of shade I thought would go perfectly with the look. So now I'm taking the shade Noir from the palette on a really small definer brush and just really smoking out that very outer corners of the top and lower lash line and then winging out the edge just really softly and then building up the colour gradually. I feel like this is a really easy technique if you are not so great with, with using you know like liquid eyeliner or the gel liner. This is so easy and it's really soft and sultry as well. Okay, now I took the shade Sketch, this really sort of dark plummy shade, just on a MAC 217 and I just um, really focused this into the crease and the outer V of my eye just to really sort of smoke everything out. And lastly, again I'm taking Honey Last just on a small brush and adding it to the inner tear ducts of my eyes. Sorry you guys if this felt like I'm using like a million eyeshadows, but I really just wanted to show you all of the shadows in the palette. The last step for the eyes of course is mascara and this one's been my favourite lately which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It just gives incredible volume and it's really black as well. And it doesn't crumble throughout the day or, and it's easy to remove so it's just all round a good mascara. And for the lips I just used the two lip liners from MAC called um, Spice and Oak and then applied a little bit of lip balm just for a tiny bit of sheen. So that pretty much completes the look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll leave the links to all my social media below, uh, my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I think I've got my Pinterest down there as well, so um, check that out if you haven't already. Um, I hope that you guys are having a nice day or night, whatever you're doing, and leave in the comments below anything else you'd like me to film because I always get excited and more motivated when it comes from you guys, what you want to see, um, and I definitely want to work on growing my channel and filming a little bit more regularly so it definitely helps when I get suggestions from you guys and it, and it just makes me way more excited to film so yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time